All right, as January comes to an end, many of us are starting to reflect on how we did with this year's New Year's resolution. A lot of people forgot to actually made them a few <laughs> weeks back. Uh, the number one New Year's resolution every year that people make is to lose weight. Right. So this year, there's a skin patch to remove tummy fat, which is so shown promise in lab trials. So joining us to talk about it, Dr. Sabrina Fabi, you are the person who would certainly talk to us about this. All right, talk to me. The fat patch, is that what this is called? This is brilliant. So this little patch actually has this little micro needles that are actually thinner than a human hair. And it contains a drug called a beta-3 agonist drug. And okay. some of them actually even contain a thyroid drug. So it actually mimics our own thyroid releasing hormone. And when you apply it, after just two minutes of application, the drug diffuses into our skin, specifically into the fat layer, and makes that fat turn into the usual white fat that we have, mm -hmm. into brown fat. Okay, okay. What, what are those two things? Right. Okay, yeah. right. So the those, brown fat, the fat is usually yeah. what we see in hibernating animals or in like newborns. And so it's good fat because it actually burns up. It actually increases our metabolism. So it makes us process energy a lot faster so that we burn through calories a lot quicker. Listen, I need some more brown fat. <laughs> I don't think okay. you have a problem, Jen. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, <laughs> I think that's, that's great. Concerns. Okay, so the white fat is the stuff we don't want to have. Which we don't because okay. it actually increases estrogen levels. Uh, it also puts us at risk for many of the conditions that we have, like stroke, heart disease, um, and so it's usually what we see in our obese patients. There's so many quick fixes out there, the pills that you can take and the things that yeah, you don't have to actually cooling. go out there. Yeah, you sit on the couch and you can lose weight by using this <laughs> device of some sort. Like cool sculpting. What's different <laughs> yeah. about this? What's different about this and, and will this be something that will work for a long t the long term? Right, well cool sculpting is brilliant. It's the one you sit down, we do it in our office, right? And you destroy about 20% of the fat that you have and it's gone for good. But here it's actually changing the composition of the fat to trick the body to actually increase your metabolism because it's changing that white fat to brown fat. So it's increasing your metabolism. So in one study, they actually gave mice a bunch of food, made them obese, and then put on this patch. And then they have them keep eating the same amount of food. Mm -hmm. And the obese mice actually decreased in weight by about 7% just 10 days later. And so it's actually changing the metabolism, which is a bit different than just destroying fat. So then do you do you wear it like a normal patch, like on the places where you feel like you've got a little, little extra something-something, you put them around you or something? That would be the goal, right? Behind the arms or maybe right. the inner highs. But the thing is that right now it's only been tested on mice. Okay. So uh, I know in one country, Singapore, they're actually now trying to explore testing it on humans. So it's just exciting. I'm always trying to look and find like new exciting right. things that we're trying to do, not just for cosmetic purposes to reduce fat, but actually change the metabolism because ultimately there are so many people, 70% of the U.S. population is either obese or overweight. Mm -hmm. We're spending about $150 billion a year on this epidemic. And so if we can do things because lifestyle is not changing, if we can at least do things to maybe decrease that, mm -hmm. it would be ideal. Yeah. Really interesting. Dr. Fabio, it's great to have you at the table. Thank Thanks you for, for having me. Thank you.